First quarter from Waverley, the Saters and the Hawkers. Hawthorne, four, six and one draw so far. A draw last week against the Western Bulldogs. They'd love to get the four points here this afternoon and break their duck at home during season 1999. Knowles has got it for St Kilda. Knowles at right centre wing. Very potent St Kilda forward line and it dribbles oh. through for one behind. Very nearly the first full pointer of the day. And so the Saints on the scoreboard very quickly in the opening term. Yeah, and you spoke about the importance of the St Kilda forward line, Pete. Graham's picking up uh, Stewie Lowe at centre half back. Also, Hayes got the job on Heatley at full back. And Trent Crowe's actually gone to big bustling Bazza. So Jonathan Hay, who just mentioned, bringing it to half back with the long kick. Lowe is there. He's got a few to beat. Got a good mark to Crowe. Put himself in front. He had support from Salmon. This is Daniel Harford. Kicks to the centre. That's a poor kick. He's kicked it straight to Peckett. Peckett to Young. Young, the chip passes an ordinary kick down towards Heatley. Oh, here's danger. Heatley gives it off to Young from half back. Young goes for goal and kicks a great goal. They've recognised the Victorian Police Blue Ribbon Foundation, which was established to perpetuate the memories of police officers killed on duty. That, of course, being Gary Silk and Rodney Miller. There's a medal for the best player from each side today from St Kilda and also Hawthorne. Thanks, Mick. Well, Joe McLaren, who took the mark, might be in line for that. Barry Hall gave Salmon a little bit of a nudge. Mitchell loves these close to goal. Snaps, gets it. St Kilda second. Now, he's going to kick across the ground to Harvey. Now, Harvey's off and running. Oh, that was a good decision not to go wide. Francis, he's looking to give it off. Now, he's going to kick it short, and he finds Carr. He might go for Harvey here. Here he goes, the Rolls-Royce. He brings it down to the halfway line. That's a beautiful kick to Hall. Great kick from Harvey. Now, this could be 50 metres if they're not careful. No, he's off. Hall, that's a great kick by Hall, and a good lead by Peck have to play tighter. Right, from 50 metres, Justin Peckett. That's a goal. Really worked hard on his fitness over the pre-season months and he's taken into the season for sure. There's Salmon bringing it up to centre wing. Good play by Holland. It was meant for Leckers. Taken by Darrell Wakeland as a big improver. An ordinary kick. Misses Harvey. Now Harvey's got it. Here he goes. Chips it short. And again a terrific kick by Harvey. Hits Hall. On the hands out in front of Crowe. Kick from outside 50, 45 degree angle. Hall goes for goal. It's another one to the Saints. He's happy. Too many big guns on the Saints forward line for Hawthorne at the moment. 27 plays one. Salmon wins it, but they can't get it out of the centre again. It's going to be Tony Brown. Brown. <laughs> Hoots for Peter Everett, who cleaned up rock before. This is McLaren. He could just about kick another one from there. Is that their fifth? It's going goalwards. It's sailing through for another one. Well, they're doing particularly well. They've had five individual goal kickers at St. Harvey. Oh, free kick Harvey again. He's starting to get right into this game. His disposal's been terrific. He's getting plenty of valuable possession, starting out in the wing and running into the midfield. 50. Oh, 50 metres. He'll have a shot for goal, Robert Harvey, from about 40 here. Robert Harvey from directly in front. The champion has put it through the middle. Uh, not to Crawford. No, not to Crawford. Crawford. Now yeah. that explains it. Going to Woods. Rock. Rock on left centre wing. Cleaned up by Everett earlier. Crummel. Good spoil by Carr. Wakeland. Peckett. Here they go again. Brown. Ridden into the ground by Rock. It was a pretty good tackle. Jarred free again. Everett's got it. Lost it. Leckers was there. Now Rock again. Farms it out to Crawford. Can they get their first goal? Crawford up to Holland. Holland marks. Mark or free kick. Whatever. Distance shouldn't be a problem. The Hawks' first realistic shot at goal from 45. And he's got it. play the soccer off the ground the loose ball is at half forward Nathan Burke now Young quick hand pass by Brown comes out to Burke oh Francis was nearly steamrolled he gives it off to Wakeland back it comes to Brown Tony Brown kicks to half forward low good spoil by Graham oh holding the man it must be no thought it could have been McCabe's kick there Mitchell goes to ground there's a quick kick around the corner, down to the Saints forward line towards Heatley, who's over the back. Heatley will race in. He'll hook it around. He centres the ball. Hall, a good mark. Good play, Heatley. 
and the original kick for the Saints came down from Ben Walton. So Hall for his second, and no doubt about it, through the middle. Now, there's just one on one this time, and they both sort of nullified each other. Here he goes again, Harvey. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful play, Robert Harvey. He goes for goal. Oh, brilliant goal with the brown line medalist. That's his second. This is Brendan Crummel. Named it full forward. Crummel kicks from centre half back. Oh, he's kicked uh, straight to Heatley. That's a poor kick. It was always going to be dangerous. Heatley looking for a short option. He's a good thinking footballer, Jason Heatley. A typical full forwards kick. They know how to pass, not only kick for goal as we see him give it to Big Spider Everett who kicks long. Oh, it's a mark to Thompson. He used his body beautifully and will kick from 10 metres. Between Thompson marking the ball and Woods not. Well, he's goal. Hawks desperate to run it, run it away. Crowd, they do. Graham, this is better. At least they're having a dip. Holland again, can't mark it. Burke. Knocks to the front, Law has got it. Burke's got him. Lekas in between two of them. Knowles, Wakeland, now Carr, and the Saints clear it from left half back. Well, it was great play from Hawthorne to get it out of the danger situation, but equally as good by the Saints as Everett goes forward. And he finds Walton, who drives it long right down towards half forward. Good mark to Low to the Saints, there's Stuart Lowe, that looks good, yeah, just sneak in, yes it did. Peter, I can tell you that breeze is only worth two or three goals, it's not, not any stronger than that, it's only no. a very slight breeze. I would certainly believe you, Couchy. Here's the free kick, the free kick was actually rewarded from the umpire out of that zone to Tony Francis. Almost looked like a trip, didn't it? Yeah, it did. He's in the wars, Tony Francis. He's going to be okay. Here they come again. St Kilda low in the middle of the pack. Kolika, Smith. Quick kick out of the congestion up towards midfield. Good bump by Young on Lord. Rebounds to Burke. Burke up towards half forward. And this man is everywhere. There must be five Tony Browns out on the ground. That's the way it looks like at the moment. Players are certainly winning the ball at will. Well, he's not going to be their ninth goal kicker. Stewie low. Too easy. Marks one metre out from goal. Yes, too easy. Kick number two. So his first two kicks, Dewey Lowe, should be two goals. That's the way it is. Mitchell on Lekas. Now he goes over the mark, nearly, but not quite. Lekas to half forward, and the big fish has got it. Salmon from 40. It comes around. Did it come around enough? I think he has. He kicked the goal. Knocked down by Wakeland. Chick's got it. Gets up ended. Not very glamorous. Rebounds to Rock. Bounce is going to be effective. Might go through for a goal. It has. Here's Nick Holland. Uh, Nick Holland with that funny looking kicking style. He kicks to Salmon. Salmon did well. Oh, he was dragged off the ball then. He was a bit stiff not to get a free Salmon. Oh, well played by Salmon to Lord. Lord steps a goal. Oh, great goal. Terrific play, Salmon. The third quarter from Waverley. St Kilda leading by 44 points. And on today's display would certainly give the Premiership any sort of a shake that you would like. Trummel pushed a teammate in the back there. Vandenberg over to Woods. Thompson. Hudson. Did he get into his back? Burke, about the first mistake he's made all day. Smith takes it from Lord. And Thompson, 35 metres. Goal umpire likes it. So do the fans, and so does Thompson. It's a goal. Woods. Crawford. Now this looks better for the Hawks. Crawford on the left. Down towards Anthony Rock. He's got him on centre wing. Rock. Drives to half oh, That's a beautifully weighted kick. He finds Crummel. Now they've got to do something here with it, Hawthorne. Crummel kicks it across the ground. Lord was calling for it. Thompson! Well, he's kicking for his second, Nathan Thompson. He's kicked it. And uh, Nathan Thompson's kicked two goals. And he is an Alex Oshenko lookalike as Woods. Tony Woods kicks towards goal. Thompson again. Now who's won? Oh, it's going the way of Hudson. 
And here's Thompson. And there's the greatest advocate for Lee Matthews' decision. We couldn't see the other angle about the free kick where the Hudson was actually holding Thompson. All he's seen was Thompson holding Hudson. I suppose when you look in the context of this game, that was an important decision. Harvey De Brown was that in the back of was. Oh, Barry Hall's not happy about it. But Crow, I reckon Crow, since oh, this might be 50 metres, I think Hall's mouthed up. And this will give him a shot for goal. He will have to be brought in. Another, another 50. Oh, might have been another, another 50. 50. For sure, and another one maybe. Let me see. Now, don't tell me he's going to have the kick from here. Croke should be way back inside the 50 here. What's going on? That wasn't 50. That, that kick, if, that should be about 35, 40 metres from goal. Peter, I've got no doubt the umpire stopped where the contact was made from Tony Woods because he stood in the path of Hall going forward. Maybe that's what it is, but that's a very strange one. But there, coming over the top is Salmon. Well, that's a strange one. If we see Salmon, he's kicked the goal. Here come the Hawks. Ford supporters have got a lot more animated here. They're very supportive of the blokes tackling and chasing and doing the hard work in this quarter. And they've certainly uh, received their voice. They've got their voice back in the first half. There was nothing. I guess Burke was between a rock and a hard place there. Snap it, goal. It's got it. Half it. He's got it. It's like a Geelong when he kicked the winning goal. Paul Salmon like that, he's kicked two himself, but that one was Harford's and Hawthorne coming at the Saints after they trailed by 51 points at quarter time. Oh, you can see there harder at the goal. Look at Harvey sidestepping there. And why wasn't that a free kick against Everett on Vandenberg? Oh, could have been holding on low then. Yes, against you, Jonathan Hay. He was grabbed in that marking contest. They need it, the Saints. Will it clear the pack? Yes, it's a goal. And boy, did they need it. Wakeland misses it. Now Thompson again. Oh! From Holland's hand pass. Like a throw. Harvey. Knowles. And Everett's out too. Everett by himself. No one within 50 metres of Peter Everett. The booze and Coach have just joined us. He cleaned up Anthony Rock in the first quarter. Throw. Out bustles all, if that's possible. Crawford. And Shane fumbled a lot early. Oh, that's a beautiful pass out of Harvard who marks over Thompson and has to go back. He's in trouble. Vandenberg inside the square. Looks for Harvard on the run. Could kick this one from 45. And he has done. Two in this quarter to Harvard. And the momentum of poor bounce by the umpire went straight to the Hawks. Crawford, if they can get him really up and firing under McKay. And it's going to drop short, and Nick Holland's marked. He gives it off to Joel Smith, who's coming into the game. He hooks it back. Oh, good gutsy mark taken by Carr. It wasn't a good kick by uh, Joel Smith. Austin Jones. A low trajectory kick. No mark. This will help Holland. He's got it. He should be looking to kick the thing. Yep. That was Lekas. A big mistake then. Thompson. Centre winger mark taken by Chip. They've all lifted these Hawthorne players. Holland on his own. And he should be kicking long now. Get it down that half forward line. Put a bit of pressure on. A pack flies. It comes to ground. It's hooked back by Angelo Lekas. It'll be a mark. Thompson again. And Nathan Thompson for his third goal. He's a beautiful oh, kick. Oh, this looks good. He's done it. Oh. Oh, almost say off the, the knee there, but not quite. Almost. Everett. Tucks it under his arm. Well done, Peter Everett. Trianides around Crawford. Trianides kicks to a contest on centre wing. The ball, Heatley. Kaiker was his opponent. Now there's a whistle. It's a both on free kick. And Tim Elliott has gone down onto Thompson. 50 oh, metres. 50 metres. Well, it's two this quarter. And that's against Everett. Careful, Peter. We might get another 50 if yeah. not careful. We'll get another 50, you know what? Yes. It'll be another 50. There you are, you can bet on it. We might get a... They'll be right on the goal line. He might get a third one, Mick. Yeah, well, irrespective of what happens, I'll be taking Peter Everett straight off the ground. You just can't afford undisciplined acts like that when you can still control your emotions. Spider is a terrific player, terrific competitor. 
that he knows to give away 100 metres when the ball's 140 metres from goal. And all of a sudden, a player who's the defender has a shot on goal and should kick it. Undisciplined play. Pollock against the goal. I think uh, Tim will get the last say, though. Big pack of players. Elliot punches to the front. Trionides. Reads it well. He started on the bench. Kicks to a contest on centre wing. Crow punches to the front. Lekas needs to give it to somebody. Still Lekas. That was beautifully played. Lekas at right centre wing. A mongrel punt off the boot. Thompson again. What a quarter he's having. He just should compose himself now and just assess himself because he will get the distance peak as oh. Couchy intimated before. Big kick. The it's a long kick. He is a beautiful long kick, Pete. 55 metres, he'll got to kick it, Mick. The wind has dropped, as Couchy intimated, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a trip. He's gone for a lead. He's gone for a pass. Great play. It's OK, Holland. Holland for his second. He might have missed. No, he hasn't. He's got it. Three points is the margin. After they led by 63 points late in the first quarter. Low and Salmon. Good free kick to Burke, no. And by saying he was uh, staging that. Oh, they went in very, very hard. There's Nathan Burke doing the heavy work. Jones to Harvey. Here goes the brown low medalist. He just gets his boot to it. Down towards half on. Everett's got it. He might kick a goal. Peter Everett, the villain. Oh, have a look at that for a goal. He's class, isn't he? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Is that a team lifter? He was the villain of the piece. He's redeemed himself. Once again, Nathan Burke, just in congestion, he thinks his way through a tight situation. Just held the handball up to give the space to Jones, who in turn gave the ball to the run of Harvey. Bad checking there from the Hawthorne defence to allow Everett to swing on him with his favourite left foot and shoot for goal. Peter Everett has the last word. Or well, maybe in this quarter he has the last word by kicking his first goal. Comes to Trionides again. The Saints have answered the challenge. Up it comes towards half forward. Heatley nearly. Thank Thank you, Mark. Mark. That one's home for all money. Now St Kilda to go forward and kick another one. Well, a goal either way would be invaluable here. Here's uh, Lekas. He's very, very cool. Half a goal. That was a beautiful hand pass to Crawford. Crawford bends it back on a good lead. That's a good play by Crawford to Thompson. Now they want to move. Have a shot. He's brought it into Lekas. Lekas will kick from 40 metres. No, have a shot. It's an up and under kick. It's a good looking kick. It's a goal. The Hawks come back again. It's Hawthorne's second best ever quarter of football. The third quarter, second best third quarter of football against St Kilda. So a couple of records here today. Taylor, can they get another one before three-quarter time? Oh, 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 oh. What an amazing! And that is the siren, I think. Holland, he's been terrific in this quarter. He's had five possessions, taken three tally marks, and this could be a sensational shot on goal to go into the three-quarter time huddle. He's got it. That is an important goal for Hawthorne. Holland kicks his third. And the Hawks again get to within a kick here at Waverley in the battle of the co-tenants. Burke confronts the umpires and gets assistance from Lowe. What an amazing turnaround in football. I think I used the expression the game was over earlier, but obviously the Hawks had different ideas. If they heard me, it worked. From Hayes' kick, back to Graham. Graham at half-back. Up towards midfield, good mark to Lord Thompson. Just couldn't quite make ground on him. Lord short of the centre circle. No goal scored so far in the final quarter. Young, the run from the back. That's a mark. The mark is there at half forward for Hawthorne. He's a type of player that could bob up and kick a couple of goals in a few minutes. Holland from 50. Hawthorne are in front for the first time. Got it. They trail by two points. The Saints in the woods, two on two contest. Good mark. Darrell Wakelet. He chips it short. 
And the mark has been taken by Jason Trionides. Now he is a goal kicker. He's got a kick. Oh, he runs around the man on the mark. He kicks from 40 metres. Hits a post. Oh, what more? What more are we going to see in this game? Oh, you would not believe it. They point the margin in favour of the Hawks. Well, we wanted to go home at quarter time. Oh, not now. I'm telling you, I don't want to go anywhere. This is just an unbelievable game of footy. I'm used to this situation. They had a draw last week too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, good point, Catchy. There could be another one here. There's a point in at 97 Hawthorne, 96 St Kilda. You get to this stage, you think, well, neither team should lose. Walton will punch. Healy in front, Lekas. Keep your feet. It's good, Lekas. Vandenberg, I oh, just couldn't complete it. Gets it back again in the hand pass. He spent a bit of time on the bench. Vandenberg needs to sit here. Charge for the Hawks. Collica was it? Who goes it? Dixon. He, Dixon. He's got it. He was the player. He was the actual player that we thought might have been the difference coming off the interchange bench when Crummer was removed from the ground early in the last quarter. They have to score two goals uh, to win the game. Uh, that's uh, the Saints. Well done, half and Oh, cleverly done. He brings it in towards full four, half forward area. Oh, Ben Dixon, a one-hander. He's a huge kick. He's a left footer. He well, doesn't have to hurry. He well, just take the ball in his own stride. Look at that. Assess his options, Pete. Well, he's he'll have to kick it 65 metres to score a goal, but at least he'll be putting it up in the goal square, and it'll be difficult now for the Saints. In fact, he's still no, don't do that, son. Go for the top of the square. That's the way, that's the kick. He puts it right up there to put the pressure on. Nick oh! Holland! Oh, Holland's taken a ripper. How good's he been? Oh, he's taken it 10 minutes out. Look at the emotion of Anthony Rock. Magnificent, that. And Holland has really stood up when he had to be counted. He's kicked four and about to maybe kick his fifth. That's much maligned because he's a player that really works hard. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a real competitor. Well, he's about to kick his fifth and shut the gate. He's kicked it. What a performance, Hawthorne. What a performance, Nick Holland. Look at that. That's what the exhilaration of victory is all about. 22 seconds on the time clock to go. What a remarkable effort. Nine goals to one at quarter time. 11 goals to four at half time. Trailing by 44 points. But this Hawthorne team has certainly turned it around. Much to the efforts by oh, that man on screen, on the ground, on his back, picked himself up to kick a goal. Well, it's one of the great comebacks. Bill Collins rode off Kingston Town at one. We well, virtually wrote the Hawks off when they trailed by 51 points at quarter time, and they're going to get up and win. So uh, I guess as commentators we should learn, but the Hawks will look at this tape back for a long time. Be great motivation for them, a bit like the Aussies in the yeah. cricket the other night. And a bit like the old Hawthorne sites in the late 80s, uh, uh, in the 80s, when you just never write them off, they no, come you from impossible positions. But how they've come back, they've worked and worked and worked. And there's the siren. And that does cap one of the most remarkable Hawthorne victories I have seen. That is a remarkable victory. Just the exuberation on every player's face. And that's what you play footy for, any competitive sport on a collective basis so you can share the memories of a victory of this hill. There's Salmon, he's shown all his experience today. Nick Holland was outstanding, Anthony Rock at times chipped in.